check my email and I decide to answer later Another cup of coffee and I drag myself to work My life is grounded in a firm routine of coffee, sleep and work I am not boring, I just stick to what I know Sitting there at work and I realized I forgot to wake up I can't be productive when I'm dreaming about a sheep I go upstairs and get myself another cup of coffee I get downstairs and then I spill it on the floor Well my life is grounded in a firm routine of coffee, sleep and work I am not boring, I just stick to what I know we are at the Rosewood Hotel uh, this afternoon for the Estee Lauder event that I talked to you guys about and that many of you have said that you want to see a video. So I'm currently hiding in the bathroom because this bathroom is gorgeous and they have great lighting and I wish this was my bathroom, but it's not. So um, we're a little bit early for the event. I have someone with me who, I don't know if she, do you want to wave? Hi! Oh, there she is. <laughs> um, this is... This is Jane Hi, from everyone. Cosmetic Proof. What do you do, Jane? I what what do you what does your blog do? I blog about beauty and nails and, and nails. Nothing too too special, but uh, yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> okay, but um, yeah, we're just we're gonna head into uh, the conference room that they've booked for the Estee Lauder event. We're gonna see some new skincare, probably maybe some makeup as well, and then um, we'll see. So I just realized we actually have a really nice mirror in this mega bathroom. So with that being said, let's do an outfit post. Um, Jane, you want to start? What are you wearing? Oh, um, I am wearing, where do I, where do you start? Head to toe? Sure. Okay. Well, so far all you can see, pearls from Berg's, uh, black tank top from Aritzia, uh, pants from Le Chateau. Pants are cute. Thank you. I just got them. Yay. And then shoes are Ivanka Trump and... I still haven't. <laughs> She's been telling me about the... Uh, Ivanka... How does you pronounce her name? Ivanka Trump. Ivanka Trump. I just think of I, I want a Trump. <laughs> <laughs> so I go Ivanka okay. Trump. <laughs> I, I did, I did uh, see some of their shoes on um, the Bay website. It looks really nice. They're so very... Shoes they're, are very cute. I've had these for, yeah, two years. They, help, they hold up well. And then coat is by Soya and Co. Yeah. I loved it so much that I got it in a size. It's a double extra small and I can't see it's really small. I can't even close it. So I can't get big and I can't get both arms. <laughs> but And that. hence why you're wearing a tank top on me. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Alright, so I am wearing a lot. Um, I'm wearing a fuzzy sweater that you guys have seen on Instagram. This is from Forever 21. Yeah. Um, necklace is from eBay. Let me zoom you in a little bit. eBay has some great stuff, you guys should really go eBay hunting. Um, they're kind of sparkly, chunky. They're not real, obviously, but they work. The super big scarf is from my mother. Um, I think she got it as a gift. The trench coat, which we're like matching trench coats, um, <laughs> is from Esprit, probably a long, long time ago, but that's okay. Pants are from, I wanna say Gap. They're probably high-waisted skinnies of some sort. And my shoes are from I think Forever 21, yeah, in the uh, Bordeaux faux suede. So, outfit's done. All right, now we're heading out. Bye-bye. It's good, it's good. All right, so we're inside the conference room. There's Jane. We met in earlier. And then we have Sheila's here. Um, blog. Maddie Loves. Maddie Loves. I will caption it somewhere down here with the bubble so you guys can check her out. But yeah, we are in the room and they've set up like a nice um, long table to see some demonstrations in a bit. And there are products set up all around. We've got some on the table. And um, probably you'll see some more people that I recognize. So I'll take them later. And then I've got that pencil on now. Blend it out with my fingers. Same color. 
color. So making it this far into the video. Um, I thought I'd sit down and talk you through some of the items I purchased that you saw earlier in the video when I went down to Dress So, the fabric store downtown, as well as Michael's the craft store downtown. And of course, I did want to just quickly share with you what was actually in the PR sample bags or the goodie bags received um, at the end of um, both of the events with Estee Lauder as well as for event. So starting off then, Dress So, it is my favorite place to go to dig around for fabric. And I do literally mean digging around because as you can see, it's more of a warehouse style and everything is everywhere. Um, their staff is usually are usually very helpful and one of them was actually helping me look for this thread from the German brand Guterman I think it's pronounced as always by the way if I ever butcher any foreign language feel free to leave the correct pronunciation for me down below you guys are great um, and um, not so great linguistically but um, I do try this is the most expensive thread that they sell and I freaked out a little inside because I spent four dollars and eight cents on a spool of thread. Next then, I stopped into Michael's uh, downtown. I'm so glad they finally opened a Michael's downtown. It is in a kind of a weird location but it is two stories which is nice and they got um, a great selection of things. So it's usually not too busy either which is fabulous. So whenever I am downtown, I usually swing by just to pick up some things I need because I am actually working or I am going to attempt to work on a couple more DIY projects throughout the year. They've been great fun uh, to do. So I went in there for some metallic craft paint. This is the Martha Stewart multi-surface metallic acrylic craft paint in the color rose gold. I wanted something metallic but um, and gold as well but I wasn't sure if I wanted regular gold, champagne gold, antique gold, rose gold, lavender gold. There was a lot to choose from. I love the full spectrum of uh, the curated selection of the Martha Stewart craft paints but so expensive. 350 for 59 mil. So again this better be good quality craft paint. This is my first time with the Martha Stewart series but I just love the colors that she had so I went for that one. As well I picked up some um, craft paint brushes on sale. These are from Royal and Langnickel. So these are the craft brush series that they make. So flat synthetic brushes. I have a wide one. I think this is three quarters of an inch and this is probably like a quarter of an inch or something like that. So a big one and a small one for my craft projects so I don't have to keep using my um, good art brushes for crafty things like that. So moving on then to Estee Lauder. We were gifted with a couple of products from the spring preview to try out for ourselves. So in here I have the limited edition Estee Lauder collaboration with the fashion brand and this is the Courage Eye Amplifier which is an eyeshadow. It is a smaller collection. It has, I believe, um, some eyeliner as well as some eyeshadows, possibly a blush of some sort. It is a very kind of futuristic, 60, slightly mod uh, collection, hence the white packaging. So I have here the color in black silver, which is a wet and dry uh, duo usage eyeshadow. Okay, also in here, they launched the Clear Difference Oil Control Mattifying Hydrating Gel. So Clear Difference is their line for, generally speaking, adult acne or um, those, you know, who are kind of out of their teenage years. They don't have exactly the same breakout issues as, you know, younger teenagers, but you still get 
breakouts and acne and you know we all do um, a lot of us anyways even in um, our older years so this one is a mattifying moisturizer I'm not sure what other key ingredients or active ingredients as I haven't gone through the uh, press info yet but I have here the moisturizer as well this is kind of exciting for me because you guys know I love my skin brightening products and I always am so excited when they bring over uh, products previously not available in North America. So this was actually an Asia exclusive uh, range and now they've brought it over about a year ago called the Estee Lauder Nutritious Vitality 8 Night Radiant Overnight Cream Mask. So this is a nighttime moisturizer, the whole nutritious range. They've got a few different things in there, but it's meant to really, again, brighten up and illuminate and revive the skin as well. I believe it's pomegranate oil that um, is the active ingredient in this series. All right, I think there's one more thing in here. This is the new Estee Lauder Color Envy shine lipstick shine or sheer i can't recall exactly the name again i'll have all the information down the sidebar but this color i have is called desire if you saw my lip color in the vlog video i was wearing um, an essay lauder color envy lipstick it's beautiful it really does sculpt your lips i always talk about that my top lip is a lot thinner than my bottom lip and i just love how that smooths over you know your lip lines and just feels good you know and it stays there the color so that's great so i'm excited to try out the um shine version of this although i am a little bit particular to cream lipsticks but who knows maybe this will win me over plus it's got that little magnetic thing that i like so estee lauder that's from that so thank you so much um to the lovely people at estee lauder then we have here avene or aven you guys have to talk me through this because I just, it hasn't been drilled into my head yet whether it's a vein or a vent. So I'll have you guys have a look at the bag and you tell me, those of you who speak French, um, exactly how I'm supposed to say this. But I'm going to call it a vent because I feel like that's what it is. Um, of course, we've got the literature that comes with it, aka the information. And then in here, um, of course, first and foremost, their best-selling, um, one of their best-selling products, the thermal water called the Othermel Thermal Spring Water for soothing, softening, and refreshing the skin. This is really multi-purpose. Um, you know, before fixing sprays were really popular, a lot of people use the thermal waters to refresh and set their makeup. This is also very soothing for those who have sensitive skin. So a lot of different brands make this, and this is the one form of then, um, which is popular with them. Then they really, oops, were launching um, or relaunching, shall I say, some of their sunscreen products, which for me personally is very interesting because I am sensitive to a lot of chemical sunscreen products. And I know that then makes some mineral exclusive sunscreen, which is always good news for me. Um, so I've got here, I think the orange series is actually a mix of mineral and chemical. So physical, sorry, physical and chemical sunblock. Uh, this one is the high protection spray SPF 50 water resistant UVA and UVB. So the orange packaging is a mix of uh, the two. And then also here, the same thing, just in the high protection lotion, SPF 50, instead of uh, the spray. So the orange ones are the mix, and this one in the white packaging is uh, the mineral exclusive with 18.99 um, titanium dioxide sunscreen. So for those who are sensitive to chemical sunscreens or you break out easily with them, nice car revving. Uh, sound effects outside and this one again is also SPF 50 um, PA oh actually there is no PA rating I thought there was but yeah if you're interested uh, fully mineral sunscreen from Aven then we have here this is something again that really interests me because I do still break out once in a while I still have somewhat acne prone skin you know it's really settled down over the years and with more careful skincare but I was so impressed by the texture and the consistency of this product from Aven. You guys know Aven is really known for having uh, sensitive skin friendly products and having really good you know, treatment items. So this one is their new Triacne Expert um, Anti-Acne Treatment Slash Moisturizer. And this has a great moisturizing, even soft, soothing consistency for an anti-acne treatment. So that sounds very promising. Um, and again, I definitely will be testing this one out and giving you guys a full review. But let me know if you are particularly interested in anything I have just shown. So this wraps up my video. Hope it wasn't too long. Thank you so much for joining me. Leave me some comments about how you felt about the vlogging. Does it work for you? Is it too terrible to watch again? Um, let me know and I'll consider possibly future 
vlog attempts if I'm out and about. So take care of yourselves. I'll see you very soon over on social media and in the next video. Bye-bye.